Hey guys, welcome to Just Be Handy. I am starting to port that exhaust port. You can see right there I did not touch the uh, right side, but I did uh, first drill through the left side. Let me try to get you better lighting in there so you could see that. And as you can see, the soft aluminum comes out real easy with just drilling and then it pushes the drill off to the side so the chrome coating you have to be careful with you have to bring the grinder from the inside to the outside you don't want to try and push that chrome plating out so that's what I'm going to do now is uh, just do some of the exhaust port porting so uh, this is my setup a little Harbor Freight drill press with a really good drill bit and uh, just lightly touching the soft aluminum on the outside of that exhaust port. I just used a drill to clean up this port. There's a lot of material that was here. Just getting rid of the soft aluminum. I couldn't push through the chrome with this. I wasn't pushing hard, just to, trying to make it clean up the the aluminum so I could clean up the chrome plating on the inside with a, with a little die grinder, a little hand grinder. You really don't want to push through from the, ins, from the outside into that chrome because you could make it brittle. So now I'm just going to be using a hand grinder and going from the inside kind of working my way out but I took a chunk of that soft aluminum out just uh, to speed things up for me and not bugger up my hand grinder. Here's what I'm going to use for a bit. It's just a uh, diamond bit that is usually used for sharpening a chain. And then I'm going to be going in like this and coming out and just kind of doing strokes from inside out, inside out and then smoothing it out here. Whenever I go into the bore I want to be kind of on a little bit of an angle to make sure I'm not pushing that chrome uh, liner out and chipping it. So take your time and then also do use some cutting oil every once in a while because it is uh, it will get the debris away and also you can uh, uh, it'll keep the tip cooler. All right, so here I'll, I'll start up some of this and you guys can see how it works. See, I'm just doing light strokes, not putting any pressure, letting the bit do the work. And now to clean up here, I'm angled back. See how it's cleaning up? Okay. That's kind of what you want to do. Kind of angle it back here. Then when you're going inside, go from the outside back in. And then we'll uh, keep doing this and I'll get back to you and show you what, what the results are like. Okay guys, I switched over to a little sandpaper disc to try and smooth everything out on the inside as well. And here's what I ended up with. You can see I tried to smooth it out as much as possible. There we go. That's the inside. Needs some cleaning. I'll blow that off for you and just show you. And there's the front side. So a lot more open than it used to be. And uh, I'll just continue cleaning it up till I get it to where I want it to be, guys. Okay guys, I just 
finished cleaning up that port. Don't know if you could see that as well as I do uh, for, for just getting the exhaust out. And then as you can see on the inside, everything looks nice and smooth. I made sure with that sandpaper bit, I cleaned up the chrome, gave it a nice chamfer. But I'll go in there with a rat file too, and a rat tail file, and make sure that I knock those ed any edges off. What I ended up staying with to do this was these little sandpaper bit uh, tips. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just go into this intake and just clean up any of that flashing there. Not much here to do because uh, it's all dictated by that plastic piece that goes in here. But there is some flashing, an opportunity to get that off of there. That helps a, a lot and then just smooth this out. So that's my next step here. guys that cleaned up the intake now we do have the transfers right down there I could try to open it up to the bottom of the crankcase but I think I'm gonna leave that for now I'm just going to see how much more this gives me and if I ever need to go in here again I could do it little by little see what kind of performance gains I have all right, guys, this was the uh, porting. Uh, I'll just finish the uh, rat tail file clean up on the back for the chamfer, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, one of the things to do with a rat tail file is when you go in there, just kind of pull. Don't push with the material just to see if there's any burrs that you'll feel. It should be all smooth to the touch. You can always knock it down with some Scotch-Brite or some uh, 600 grit sandpaper, but just go in there and do all the porting areas that you did with a rat tail and just pull the material out. Don't push in because if you do, you could go to the other side and hit it if you snag on something and scratch the other side or if the chrome material is hanging out up, you could push it and then flake the chrome material. So put it in, pull, pull it, just kind of pull it, always in the one direction, and go around to make sure there's nothing that is hanging up, nothing sharp. Everything should feel real nice and smooth to the finger so that you can get good ring transition. It should feel like the regular ports that were there from before. All right, guys, that's uh, porting and cleanup of that porting. The next thing I'm going to do is just get some Scotch-Brite and clean up the bore. What I do is what I call a poor man's uh, hone, which is uh, you can get like a, uh, a mallet or a board like this that fits in. You wrap the scotch bright around it leave a little bit at the end to kind of put in there using uh, a mallet might be better because i could wrap it quite
quite a few times around there. Okay, and just kind of stuff it in there. And that way you could, as you turn, you pull the cylinder out and you could always use a little cutting oil or something if you want. This is just a demo. I'll get a newer piece. So yeah, you just put it in there and then pull out a couple of turns, pull out. And then what you get is like a poor, what I call the poor man's hone. You could see the uh, cross hatching on there. Uh, it does clean up quite a bit. So I'm going to continue cleaning this port up. You can see there's some debris in there. I don't want it this dirty. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up. But that's how this project is coming along. We've got the, cil the cylinder ported. And then we're going to put it back together. I did not change the timing. So that's why I did not do a timing wheel or anything. And now this cylinder needs a good cleaning before I can uh, put things back together. All right, guys. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Awesome. Have a wonderful day.